<laughs> we have a lot of news to get to this morning as well. We're going to start with the latest on the coronavirus emergency. The United States is now reporting more than 4.2 million cases. Uh, but there's new vaccine hope this morning. Tens of thousands of Americans have volunteered for Moderna's large-scale human vaccine trial. It's getting underway at locations across 30 states and Washington, D.C. So we're going to speak exclusively with Moderna's founder in just a moment. But first, Victor Okendo starts us off in Miami with the latest. Good morning, Victor. Good morning, Robin. A vaccine cannot come soon enough. Today, Florida will likely top the 6,000 death mark hospital space. It is stretched very thin. There is just one available ICU bed here at Miami's largest hospital. But this morning, we begin with that encouraging news about a possible vaccine. This morning, a major milestone in the battle against COVID-19. For the first time in the U.S., phase three vaccine trials are now getting underway. 30,000 Americans are expected to volunteer for Moderna vaccine clinical trials, hoping the vaccine will be the answer to defeating the coronavirus, which has now infected more than 16 million people worldwide. I think it's very important that a person steps up and tries to do something good for the world at this point. 73-year-old Jeffrey Balkin is in good health and says he's not nervous at all about the risks. To me, it's, it's obvious that a vaccine is the, uh, the holy grail. The need for a vaccine growing more urgent as the country sees more than 1,000 COVID deaths a day for five consecutive days. Now FEMA sending a letter asking medical professionals to help five hard hit states, Arizona, Louisiana, Texas, California, and Florida, which now has the second most cases in the country. Despite that, Florida officials are considering reopening bars, but experts warn against it. If they open up bars now, they're basically saying goodbye to schools for all of the fall because the caseloads will be too high. And second, in this pandemic, it's not clear to me where, whether we can open up bars safely anywhere in our country. Some teachers are now threatening to quit rather than return for in-person classes as the state sees an alarming surge in infections among children, nearly 8,000 under the age of 17, testing positive in the past week. Leah Wampler's eight-year-old son Zane is in the ICU in Miami fighting the rare multi-inflammatory syndrome associated with COVID-19 in children. He started feeling tired one day, then woke up with a fever that hit 105 degrees. He's in a lot of pain. He's super nauseous. He was throwing up for days, but now it's the pain. You never want to see your kids so incoherent that they can barely talk to you ever or see them that sick. Zane had no COVID symptoms and tested negative for the virus but positive for the antibodies. If you would have asked me two weeks ago, I would have said absolutely, send him back to school. But it, at this point, it's, it's not cut and dry. This as new outbreaks linked to gatherings grow. At least 35 lifeguards on the Jersey Shore testing positive, now told to self-isolate. And the testing crisis deepening. 14 states are now reporting problems, some waiting up to 19 days for results. And in order to help with the testing problems here in South Florida, at least five new testing locations are opening up. But right now, all eyes are on those vaccine trials. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.